This season, we spent a little time in North Carolina with a race car driver who turned out to be a real car guy, and we wanted to share that with you. Well, Bill from Mooresville, North Carolina, sent us an email about his brand new, or new to him, 1957 Chevy. Well, we had an opportunity to visit Mooresville recently and got together with a guy who's got his own 57 Chevy. In fact, we can't almost stop him talking about it. Dale, good to see you again. Good to see you. We heard that uh, you put a new cylinder head on this thing. Well, I did. I bought this old car originally from uh, Texas, and it's a, it's an original car. It's original paint, original interior, original engine, six cylinder. I wanted to keep it all original. So uh, we went to tuning on it, just, you know, brakes, a few little things just to fix up on it a little bit, and found out it had a cracked head on it. It had a little miss in it, I couldn't get it out, it had a cracked little bit of water coming in it. So we changed the head, I rebuilt the carburetor, we did a little bit of a valve job on the head we put on, we found a 56 Chevrolet head, it had uh, 16,000 miles on the engine, Bought and got a good head and put it on, same, just put it back as original as possible. But I just tinkered with this car for the last uh, couple months, uh, went through the rear end, made sure it was good, put wheel bearings in it. Uh, did a new dry shaft. The dry shaft was warped and it had a vibration, couldn't get it out, so changed it. So it's just a neat old car. I love to drive it. It's uh, very relaxing to drive. Six cylinder, not much power, but she cruises good down the highway. I'll tell you, the first thing I noticed about it was all original, and it's nice to see that there's some guys left who want to leave them that way. <laughs> I mean, you can spend $100,000 working on oh, this car. You can you know? cut a car up. And, and uh, talking about that, I, I do have a 57 Chevrolet I'm spending a lot of money on. I'm putting it on a, a chassis that's got Corvette suspension on it, putting a, a great engine in it. It's six-speed transmission so we have got cars like that but this is a, a unique car it's all original not been cut on or worked on or tore up it's a it's a neat car automatic uh, it's a fun car to drive enjoyable to ride around in my 12 year old daughter loves riding around in this car uh, body paint the paints in original the interior is original so uh, I paid probably a little more but it's a solid car no rust nothing under the car is wrong I've, I've been all over the car so it's a very presentable car, a good car to restore to its original uh, you know, luster, but uh, I, I enjoy it as it is, is just driving it stock. And, and, you know, the paint's a little worn on it. She's showing through in some places, but this old coral pink was a, a, a great color back in, in those days. Yeah, of all the years I've been watching you race, I never thought I'd ever see you wanting a pink car. Hey, Did I they ever make you drive a pink I drove, car? I drove a pink race car the first year I started racing, so it was the first car I ever drove was a pink car. And I'm not going back to this because of that, but this is just an neat old car because it was original paint. And this was a great color back in 1957, the old coral pink. It really wasn't called pink, it was called curl, coral. Well, then, then it made it more manly for a guy. After all, you are the intimidator. You can't go around in a but pretty you, pink But you're car. talking about money, you know, of course, anything. You could spend a lot of money just putting, a, you know, different engine in this thing, souping up, paint job, tearing it apart, putting it back together. I know guys that's got well over 30000 in, in rest restoration jobs, and, and they're getting it. You know, they're trading cars and selling cars all the time. 57 Chevrolet hardtops is going for, for way up in the 30s and 40s. Bill's got a good project to start on here. He doesn't have to spend big money, though. He can kind of nickel and dime his way through it. He can, some... and I did that. I've done that with this car. Everything on this car is original, but I, I've tuned on it. I've did shocks. I've did brakes. Uh, new battery box frame, and you can go buy aftermarket things. Uh, the radio's original-looking radio, but it's an AM, FM. looks stock. But I have the old one that came out and had it, re had it rebuilt and had it fixed, so it still plays, but I wanted an FM radio in it, but it looks stock. So you can tinker with these cars, tune on them, Change this, change that. I got a set of uh, a mag wheels on it, a different set of tires to try to make it ride a little smoother, but I still have the old stock pink wheels. <laughs> just like a car guy, just like the rest of us. Thanks for spending a little Thank time you, with Dream man. Car Garage. Peter and Tom wanted to know what my dream car was. Well, this is it. It's, a, it's a Corvette Racer, and the reason why is, is I've talked about running the 24-hour race for a lot of years in, in Daytona, and Chevrolet and the Corvette guys came up with this deal last year, really, but we couldn't put it together because of a, my neck injuries and all, so this year was able to put it together. Now, this is a race car. This is a neat car to drive, and that's, that's one thing that's uh, great about it. I went down and tested the car, and uh, I've got a Corvette that I drive around the street, but it's nothing as fancy, nothing as get up and go, and also stop and turn as, as good as this race car does. And this is gonna be a fun car to race in the 24-hour race, but uh, a fun car and a great memory for me. Uh, matter of fact, I uh, might even build a street car just like this to play with on the street. But uh, this is, I think, uh, an ult ultimate dream car right here. Now you're talking about serious brakes. This baby's got serious brakes on it. 
It uses the AP brake uh, caliper, but it uses a big steel disc rotor just like a factory car's got, except it's a little bit larger. Now this thing will stop. It, unlike a Winston Cup car, we, we use a little bit smaller brakes on it. We've got good brakes, but not as much as this car has. Now you talk about motor. This car has got serious motor in it. It's around 625 horsepower, which, you know, a Winston Cup engine and a race engine has got around 720 to 740, a lot more than that. But you're talking about a serious restricted race motor. This engine is a little bit restricted. It's a 427 cubic inch uh, conversion engine, but we have to run a restrictor on it because of the class we're running in, in in the Daytona 24 hours. But uh, you're talking about torque. Now this thing has got a lot of low end torque. Uh, we used to Winston Cup cars, we're torquing up around 8,000 and shifting at 8,600. Maybe we revved to 9,000 at different times. But this thing, you're shifting at 6,200. Your max RPM's at 6,500. So you've got a lot of low end torque. 3,000 RPM's up, that thing is a bear. So you've got to be really careful on fresh tires or right out of the pits on fresh tires or cold tires or a cold racetrack. Got to be really careful, get those tires heated up and get going before you really stand on this baby. Stand on this baby too much too soon, you'll be around and around and in the infield. A lot of torque on this hood. You're talking about a beautiful car. This is a beautiful car, but all this beauty translates into downforce. She's got tremendous downforce with the spoiler package on it and the front air dam and everything, the way it's built in the car, it's just tremendous on, on sticking to the racetrack. This car running 140, 50 mile an hour, you can absolutely jam on the brakes and it will not slide the tires because it has so much downforce. Tremendous downforce. Really, it runs good through the air, good downforce, good speed, good cornering capabilities because of the aerodynamics package. It looks great too. Uh, to look this good, this car here would probably cost you around $250,000. But hey, if it runs and drives like this thing, it'd be worth it, wouldn't it?